everybody. Um, I'm going to show you the products that came in my Deco Arts um, Helping Artists program box. Um, I already did the unboxing because I couldn't stand it. So anyway, but I'm going to show you what they all are. So first I'll start with the brushes. Um, these look like they're really nice brushes. They're nice and soft, um, nice, nice bristles, and I think they'll be fun. Um, they're actually for their deco, for like home decor kind of thing, but I think they'll really work well for a lot of different. Um, this is a one inch angle, a two inch flat, and a four inch flat. And it, it's a big brush, but super soft, real nice. And then I also got, um, this is their, they're for their gloss enamels, but they say soft brushes for glass. Um, and this is the specialty set. This is like a little um, fine liner, a small flat, one eighth inch flat. And this is a quarter inch flat, but the bristles kind of have two different lengths. You can tell there, it's not a shadow. They actually have like a, a neat little two length end on them. So that's really cool. And then this is the basic set, a super fine, fine line, a kind of a, a number one fine line, and then um, a three eighths inch. So those should be good for smaller projects. And then I also got the Americana glass stencil daubers. And these have like the foam end on them with little wooden handles. So that should be good. Um, I did get a snow rider um, and I put the little stuff on the end so I could see what it is. It's kind of cool. And then I picked up the 3D gloss enamels and when these come out they're a little bit milky but when they dry they're this super transparent shiny um, yeah like stained glass anyway and you can do like finer line because they have the writing tip I picked up some of the wood glue we had a little spill but that's all right um, let's see, let's go. I got the uh, metallic shimmering turquoise um, in the media spray, some ultra matte varnish, um, crackle paint, this is the white tinting base, black modeling paste, this stuff looks awesome. Just thick black goo and I bet it just is gorgeous on something. So we're going to try that out. Um, black gesso. Texture sand paste and this, this stuff is cool too. Let's see if I can. It's kind of a gritty, yummy paste. And then I picked up the Dimensional Effects Paintable Texture Paste. And this is, I think, just your basic basic texture paste. It's pretty thick. Um, you know, push it through a stencil and we'll have to play with that. And it says it's paintable, so I'm thinking we can do quite a bit with it. I picked up the Americana Pearlizing Medium. This you add to your paint to give it a shimmer effect. So that'll be fun to play with. Um, the DuraClear Matte Varnish. This I'm guessing is similar to the Ultra Matte Varnish from the Media line, but a thinner consistency. Um, like maybe to help uh, it go along farther up the weathered wood crackle medium and um, this 
is what Andy Skinner uses with the media paints in his uh, in some of his crackle videos. So that that should be fun to use. Um, the Traditions Glazing Medium. This you add to your um, acrylic paints to take the opac opacity out of them and to kind of make them go farther and it doesn't change the the color um, but it makes them extend farther and it and it makes them more clear this is the decoupage uh, photo transfer medium I have not worked with this before and I thought it would be really interesting to play with and see if I could do some cool stuff. I picked up a brush and stencil cleaner. We always need that to take care of our products. Um, the Americana Sealer Finish Matte. This is an aerosol spray, so of course use outside. Um, not inside. <laughs> and that, that was the matte, and this is the gloss. Um, same warnings. This is just the decoupage matte um, glue sealer finish for your basic decoupage pro decoupage products. Um, so I got a big bottle of that. And this is the decoupage outdoor. Again, it's a glue sealer finish. Um, this is supposed to stand up to weather um, being outdoors. So that I'd like to try on some some products maybe for something in the garden or whatnot. Um, this is the stain blocker sealer and when I was reading up on this basically this was designed for people who like to upcycle. Um, say you pick up a, a piece of furniture at a yard sale or an op shop and it has some stains on it and you don't know what those stains are you don't know if they're oil or um, you know and you want to paint it but you don't want those life episodes stuck in your wood to come through your paint because if it's an oil that's that's staining the wood it will seep through the paint after you paint it so this was created to put on your product to keep anything underneath of it from coming up through. So I thought that would be really interesting and I believe it's it's clear. Yes, dries clear. So um, I'm wondering if this could be used as like a clear gesso even. Um, Possibly, now I don't have any of them, but possibly this could help with the dilution sprays um, that are so water reactive. I do have the um, color burst, uh, watercolor powdery things, <laughs> and I'm going to try this over that and see if though it can stop the movement. So I thought that there's a lot that could be done with this stain blocker. And then this is image transfer medium. And I picked up this to um, play with as well as this to see what I could do with them. Um, this, of course, is their decor line and this is their paper decoupage line. Um, and I'm not sure that they're the same product, but I wanted to, you know, being that they sell them both, I'm guessing they have different pro uh, properties. So I'm going to play with both of those and figure out what they do. Okay, and then I got some big stencils. This is a 6 inch wide by 18 inch long, and this is the Floral Breeze. Um, this one, again, 6 by 18, and this is the Victorian Baroque Border. This one um, is an Andy Skinner 6x6, six six, and it's Have Your Say. 
This again is a 6x6 six six Andy Skinner Snakes Web. This is a 6x8 of the Americana Mixed Media stencils. And this is the doily. This is an Andy Skinner 8x8 called Serendipity. And it has a whole bunch of words that I think would be fun to use in mixed media. This is a 12x12 12 12, and it's called tie-dye. The pattern is tie-dye. Oh, that's going to be in the view. Sorry. I got my big pile sitting up over here. <laughs> okay, this one is, again, the mixed media and it is gears and cogs. 12 by 12. This is the 12 by 12 mixed media doily. This is one of their decor stencils and it's called Distressed Harlequin. Again, 12 by 12. 12 by 12 old French script and this is their decor line. I don't know what any of those say, but they're pretty cool looking. And then this is also a 12 by 12, and it's called Vintage Keys. And those are pretty substantial sized keys. And it's got the little um, eskijins, I guess is what they're called. And it's got another one here too that's up underneath. So that's cool. And then I picked up a a bunch of the paints. Um, let's see. Start with the glitter glamour. Um, I got several of the glamour dusts and these are like super glittery. They're full of full of good glitter in there. Um, this one's celebration pink, uh, emerald, tiger orange, gold glitz, limelight, sizzling red, lemon drop. Purple Passion, Black Ice, Ice Crystal, and this one looks really cool. We're going to be able to smear that all over stuff. Silver Bling, and then Magenta, a little bit darker of the pink. And then my thought. got some of the um, basic Americana craft paints. This is Fiery Red, uh, Sizzling Pink, Scorching Yellow, Torrid Orange, uh, Electric Blue, and Thermal Green. And those are the fun neon colors. Okay, and then I got several of the Dazzling Metallics. Let's see if I can pull it out here. Okay, this one is Berry, and I love that color. Super pretty. Uh, teal goes perfect with that berry. <laughs> this is a different color of teal. This is peacock pearl and one is lighter than the other. You can kind of see that. So that should be fun. Uh, purple pearl. Dark patina. This one's kind of a dusty teal. Uh, 
festive green. This one tends to have a bit of an olive tint to it. Black pearl, shiny black. Shimmering silver. Amethyst. This is kind of a dusty purple. It would go really well with this dark patina. If you're doing more of a rustic and you don't want that true um, color. The moss pearl. Again, this is lighter than the patina, but again, a good kind of toned color. White pearl. Oyster pearl. Champagne gold. Emerald gold. Ice blue. Worn penny. This is your true copper color. And then festive red. And lastly, I got some craft paints. And I have some Deco Arts craft paints already in my in my repertoire. Um, so I decided I wanted to go with something a little bit different than just um, regular craft paint. So I started reading up on what they have and I decided to go with the multi-surface um, craft paints. And these can be used on oh, an innumerable number of things. They can also be used outdoors and they have a satin finish. So they're not going to be that high gloss that you see in a lot of um, craft paints, but yet you're still going to get the coverage that you would get, the opacity that you would get with, with other craft paints. So um, I chose these and I got Lemon Zest, uh, Red Hot, True Blue, Blue Lagoon, Melon Ball, this one looks like a really cool color. Just a real nice light citrusy key lime green. Uh, inchworm. I like green. <laughs> uh, chick. Cactus. Chartreuse. This is your heavily pigmented lime green. Um, cotton ball, which is white. Black tie, which is black. Orange sherbet. Pumpkin patch. Uh, school bus. School bus yellowy orange. Lavender fields. Dolphin. It's a great gray. Vanilla shake. Your off white cream color. Deep turquoise. Coastal waters. You can see these again are the two different shades of teal. And then this is a little bit more minty. Waterfront. Purple sunset. Mushroom. Um, a nice light taupe, kind of between cream and brown. Ballerina, your super light paint color. Iris. And green beret, which is like a hunter dark green. So that's what I got for now um, to get started on doing some things. So I'm going to start um, working with these products in my projects and sharing with you guys. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Um, please like, subscribe, and share if you would like to. And I'll see you in, in a bit with another project.